fact, one woman is still remains missing more than a decade later. Today marks another anniversary for the day Jennifer Kessie went missing. ABC 7's Rick Adams talked with her parents tonight and has more from Bradenton. Well, it's every parent's worst nightmare, having a child disappear without a trace. Jennifer Kessie, pictured here, has now been missing for 12 years. Another year and another difficult anniversary for the family of Jennifer Kessie. The 24-year-old went missing on January 24, 2006, after leaving her Orlando condo and has not been seen or heard from since. It's very difficult. Uh, 12 years, you know, people say... Things get a little easier with time, and I, I don't think we find that in this situation, uh, mainly because of the frustration that goes along with it. On Wednesday, Drew Kessie and his family were in Orlando continuing their search for answers, saying the police have not done enough and that mistakes were made. They now want their own private investigator to take over the case and are planning to sue the Orlando Police Department for the case files. We've hired lawyers and investigators, and we're ready to go on that. However, they have told us no, no. No, no, no. So now the fight will begin to try and get to information that we feel is a, a very solvable case. Cassie, a Bradenton resident, says Orlando police are now putting a detective solely on this case and bumping up their awareness with billboards of Jennifer and wrapping her face and in information all over a transit bus. The reward has been increased to $15,000. The person in this picture could have something to do with Jennifer's disappearance. Cassie tells us there have been more than 4,500 leads. We've had people tell us that Jennifer's cut up and thrown in here, there, what have you. It's tough to deal with that, but we have to get through that because we have to find Jennifer. Uh, that is the ultimate goal for the good or the bad. She's our daughter. For more information on Jennifer Kessie's disappearance, you can log on to our website at mysuncoast.com. And if you know anything at all about Jennifer Kessie's disappearance, you're being asked to contact 1-800-423-TIPS. Reporting from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News.